In this lesson, we will talk about uh, the project browser and our properties palette and the location of our sample files, with the things we've already touched on a little bit. Uh, when we go to open up a project, we're going to see a lot of these over the course of this series, is we're going to use the default files that are built into Revit, open, and you're going to see down here sample files. So if you look, it says RAC, Revit Architecture, RME, uh, Revit MEP, RST, Revit Structure. Okay, and then there's a separate um, project file, and there's an architectural link file there. So we've got advanced sample Family Advanced Sample Project, Basic Sample Family, Basic Sample Project. So each discipline has an advanced and a basic sample family and project. So you can go in and open these up anytime you want. You can't save back to here. This is a read-only folder. Okay. Um, so you'd have to do a save as and save it somewhere else. If you want to make a copy, go and take that folder where it is and copy it somewhere else and you can go in and modify it. So that's our sample files. And once we do get in and open a file, I'll just open this as an example. We'll see a predetermined view or the last view that the project was in. And now we see our project browser and our palette properties palette, we can pull these guys off if we want, okay, and float them, and quite often if we have double monitors, um, we can put them on a separate screen on a different um, monitor. So if you have two monitors or screens, generally what we do is take these and drag them over to a different screen. When you want to dock them again, you just drag them off to the side, and you'll see them kind of morph their way in. When you go to dock them on the side, be careful where your mouse is because if you're near the top it'll it'll put it at the top of the ribbon when you go to place it to the side if you want to dock it it doesn't matter where the dialog is look where your mouse is your mouse needs to be in the middle so approach this from the middle and then it'll snap to the side if you approach it to the left it'll jump up to the top a lot of times okay so keep your mouse in the middle Drag it over, snap it in. Take this guy and do the same thing. Now, when you bring your other palette in over here, do the same thing. Go sideways, go down to the middle. Okay, look where my mouse is. You can also drag it right on top. Okay, if you really need space. And then it'll split it between the two. There's your properties. There's your project browser. Okay, the two are taking up. This is if you don't have much screen space. If you want to pull it off, just drag it off. Okay, and it'll come off. And if you want to split them up, drag the tab over. Okay, once again, pop that into there. Take this guy. You can go to either side. I tend to go but to the left-hand side, it's I'm not sure why. And then you've got them. If Again, if these go missing, you can go up to your View tab and go to User Interface, and you can turn your Project Browser and your Properties Palette back on if they happen to get turned off. 